What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today, today video is gonna be a little different. I just got like a little a couple videos that I want you to see. That is kind of that's verifying the whole uh you know, ain't no party, like a nitty party, <laughs> you feel me? So we got uh Jonathan Hay, he is a record producer, right? So he like a real famous record producer. You know what I'm saying? He like one of the people, if you in the industry, you know who he is, right? Like he ain't like super famous like that, but if you in the industry, you know who he is. You can Google, you can Google him, Jonathan Hay, right? Then you got <clears throat> the hip hop cop, right? The hip hop cop, he said, boom, boom. Yeah, for sure. He was at the party, Brown was at the party, right? Then last but not least, you got Gene Deal, DDO Security. He said he was at the party too, right? Okay, boom. So I'm gonna let y'all hear all three of them. Then I'll be back right back with what I think about it. Adele, who was friends with Diddy, who's with LeBron James, his manager, Rich Paul, who were all connected to CJ Wallace and the notorious Big Estate, all those people are complicit. And you know Rich Paul and Adele are on the tapes the Diddy tapes that the FBI have seized. So let's see if we see these tapes and Adele is identified. But I can tell you one thing. Adele, LeBron James, and Rich Paul are all freaking out and shitting bricks because they're on the tapes. I need to address the situation between Adele and I. Over the last few years, her fans have hit me up asking about our quote unquote relationship because they saw in the news that Adele and I were together. And then after they read about Adele and I together, she immediately hooks up with Rich Paul. Now, let me just say this. I can't stand Adele. I can't stand Rich Paul. Rich Paul represents LeBron James. Adele, Rich Paul, and LeBron James were all friends with Diddy. They were all at Diddy's parties. Adele, Rich Paul, LeBron James all participated in the freak-offs. She told me that her and Diddy used to smash and she would tell me things about how Diddy used to like to watch her with other men that she was cheating on with her husband, Simon. Let me tell you this. Adele is not a good person. Like Adele has got the, Adele has got the public fooled. Adele is somebody at the Diddy parties with her fiance, Rich Paul, LeBron James's manager. I don't mess with Adele because of who she is and who she is as a person and how she got down and the fact that she was such a weird freak and the fact that she is a addict. Yes, Adele is a addict. She was at the Diddy parties. She had sex with Diddy and she was around Diddy with Rich Paul and LeBron James. I got to just get this off my chest because I'm tired of I'm tired of holding it in. Well, that at these freak off parties that are very everybody's very scared right now. You know this. So who are, who are there more important people? Like, what are the names that you would be looking well, at? Well, I mean, Aston Kutcher has already been linked to having business with Diddy and, and being mm -hmm. involved with some of the things. So I know that he's a little taken back by this because I've been hearing that about him. And then right. there are other people that Diddy's had uh, relationships with. you got to remember, he was a billionaire and on a, a billionaire status where mm -hmm. he moved and ran with the most elite celebrities and entertainers in the world. So I'm sure all these people were at this party at one time. LeBron James was always saying, hey, Diddy party, was no, there's no party like a Diddy party. So, I mean, wait, 
do I mean because I've been reading about that too. Do we really think LeBron James went to some? Oh yeah, he was at those. He was at those parties. From what we know, he was definitely at those parties. Did he always been the type of individual that wanted to have ups on the next person, no matter what they was doing? Like. He always played artists against each other. He did it to Big. He did it to Craig Mack. You understand? I said before, he did the stuff to Ja Rule. You understand? So how the ups on Ja Rule so he could go after Jay-Z. You understand what I'm saying? So he always played those kind of up games on people. So to have those cameras and know what he was doing is going to give him the ups on everybody who came to that party. Even your favorite basketball player. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. We know who said that. Okay, boom. Y'all heard all of them, right? So <clears throat> now my thing is this, right? <clears throat> You can't just go around making statements about people, right? That ain't true. Because it's a little thing called defamation of character, right? Like if somebody say something crazy about you that go all over the internet, you can sue them, right? So for these people to be saying this, right? Like it gotta be some truth to it. Like three people lying, three people lying. Three people, three of them, not one, not two, <laughs> but three people lying? Yeah, all right. yeah, all right. yeah. Y'all think, listen, you gotta, <clears throat> you gotta be subjective, all right? It's like if anything, right? Like if you got a cousin, right? Everybody say he do X, Y, Z. And the whole family been saying he do X, Y, Z for like 10 years, 20 years. He didn't at least dabbled in it, right? Like he, he ain't just 100%, he ain't did nothing. Come on now. Three people say it, bro. In your world, where you can sue all three of them? Come on now. Uh, and then you own tape talking about ain't no party like a minute. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, you don't got to be Sherlock, Matlock. Uh, none of them to figure that out. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? None of them. So, they all seen it. We gonna see if it's something come of it. <clears throat> we all heard it. We gonna see if something come of it. That's all I got on this one. See y'all on the next one.